This program starts in five minutes. This program starts in two minutes.
This program starts now. Hello everyone. This is Jia Sara Jai. Wish you all a happy new year 2021. Once again, a warm welcome to the 37th episode of Hyderabad Runners weekly webinar series, Beyond the Track, a series of talks from experts in the sports and fitness fields. Hyderabad Runners promotes running, fitness and active lifestyles through its many volunteers and events. I have been associated with Hyderabad Runners through my mom who is an avid cyclist and marathoner. I have run a 10k in the signature Airtel Hyderabad Marathon AHM both in 2018 as well as 2019. We hope you all are taking all the measures to stay safe and healthy. Please post your questions for today in the comment section. This new year's first episode is special because we are tuning into a conversation between three of our very own Hyderabadi runners. Today we have Avik Pal, Surendra Parwada and Ash Acharya talk about their PB Pandemic Best Sub 3 Marathon during these trying times. A brief introduction about the strike of Hyderabad runners. Our first speaker of the day, Avik has been very passionate about cricket, football and swimming since childhood. Amongst his multiple prizes through school and college athletic meets, 100 meter and 200 meter flat races were his all-time favorite. He inherited his passion for sports from his mother, who was a district level medalist in 100 meters and in long jump. His journey from a sprinter to a marathoner was a roller coaster ride. He was awarded the best debut half marathon male award by Hyderabad Runners for 2015-16. His achievements also include a 5K personal best timing of 16 minutes and 36 seconds and a full marathon personal best timing. of 2 hours 54 minutes and 2 seconds according to him discipline hard work and self belief are the three most important factors for success our next guest of the day surendra parwada is currently working in a semiconductor based tech giant in this modern era he feels that the best gifts he can give his daughter are good health a right attitude to fight problems and a culture of being fit When she ran in a November 2016 one kilometer event at the age of only three years, he decided to pick up running as a new hobby to do along with her and spend more time with her. In Feb 2017, he joined the Couch to 5K program of Hyderabad Runners and has never looked back ever since. His milestones include back-to-back -back podium first in cl club run event in 2019 and 2020. followed with personal best of 1 hour 23 minutes in the half marathon in 2020 joining them today is ash acharya ash studied at steel city rorkela and worked in the it field abroad for a few years before he decided to settle in india though very passionate about sports from his early days it took a back seat due to his personal and career commitments it was in his late 40s he finally picked up cycling and running as they gave him a high level of confidence and kept him grounded An eager learner who believes that experience is his coach, he is a self-trained runner who strongly believes in hard work. Staying true to their beliefs, on 6 December 2020, the Stroika recently broke sub-3 full marathon and with the Boston qualification timing unofficially. They join us here today to talk about how their different origins, interests, and running habits became their stepping stones in this powerful story of belief, perseverance, and success. Over to you all. Hey, thank you, Jia. It was great knowing you, and uh, a very happy New Year to you as well. Thank so you. So you were following up your mother's uh, path. That's I can truly connect with you. So uh, I can understand the passion that you have, and you have developed it from my mother. From your mother, it, it's amazing. I, I, we all love to hear you, Jia. Hey, Ash. Hey, Sudi. How are you guys hey. doing, man? Yeah, doing good. How are you? Uh, I'm doing you. good. Thank you, Abhi. Thank you, Jia, for that wonderful uh, for that introduction. So, uh, yeah, Abhi. So it is really pleasure to be on this show and talk uh, uh, about our rich experience. And you know, uh, so if we can be able to motivate at least few of the guys to you know take up running and achieve something good, then the idea of this entire uh, uh, episode should be successful. That's true. But one thing I would like to mention, Ash. I I got to know that the introduction where uh, you have picked up running in in your late forties, man. You yeah, look yeah. so yeah, young, yeah. man. You are in your early twenties. How come this late forty thing is coming in the picture? Don't yeah, do yeah. this age goof off, man. 
<laughs> yeah so this yeah absolutely so uh, you know this is the first time like in my career and i'm feeling so wonderful like being you know 40 so uh, achieving something so wonderful at the age of 40 and this show specifically i want to talk only about the, my experience beyond 40 so all 40 above guys should you know clap for me and should listen to me oh so absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's nice so sudi i would like to bring up a conversation over here yeah. So first of all, always when I get to uh, when we get to see each other, it is all full of sweat and always in a rush to resume our Garmin. Okay, so Absolutely. I remember uh, conversation. Uh, Ash, take a note. Okay, so uh, we were talking at stadium, and Suri was like continuously looking at the watch and looking at the sky. Hey man, why this guy has appeared now? And <laughs> I just I have stopped his run. Okay, we were discussing, and then he just uh, he, he was just waiting for me to go. And today I see you guys in a very happy mood and it's, it's a pleasure. It, it's an honor yes. uh, for all of us to be on this side of the platform uh, where we are guests today. I am really, man, I'm very excited and it's an amazing feeling. Yeah, very, very big thanks to our uh, Hyderabad Runners Group for creating such a wonderful platform, uh, you know, to know why we are here and then instead of running, you know, we are actually, you know, virtually meeting and then trying to discuss something, you know, which will be helpful for all our, you know, fellow runners, you know, quite exciting actually. Yes. Yeah. And we already got the email about tomorrow's long run. It's It's been almost a year we have yeah. not run uh, together and it, it's going to happen from tomorrow. Oh, but, is it? Uh, is yes. it so long run is happening tomorrow so I, I will be missing because i am not in hyderabad right now i am in my hometown at my village uh, you can do a virtual one it's a virtual era oh. so you can do a virtual one okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, before we go ahead and uh, we keep uh, chit chatting and pull each other's leg uh, i would like to share about a day uh, that was uh, 6th of december where we uh, got into as a team and we ran a full marathon uh, at the Necklace Road, Hyderabad. Yes. And uh, we will talk a lot about that day, how we have planned and what all we have done, how we have executed, how we have paced. And we would also like to hear from all of you. Uh, you. You can ask us questions. Feel free to ask questions to all of us. You try our best to answer them. And uh, But before we go into that, uh, I would ask Diranjan to play a video so that we all can cherish our memories from that day, of that day. Perfect. Wow, so this it just is, feels yeah. so good, you know, you know, when you actually see the way how you ran. Yes. You know? So this is exactly on uh, 6th of December morning, 4 o'clock, we all landed up there uh, sitting at Surinder's car. Uh, we reached there, we did some warm up. We also uh, had um, uh, Haskar and um, um, uh, and other teammates also, um, Sridhar Garu. So all of them really helped us. So it was all like, you know, coordination uh, Surinder did and uh, we did some warm up and then finally we uh, started the run. Yes, so. it was amazing. And you guys mm -hmm. can see it was pitch dark and uh, these guys were providing us all the supports that uh, we can, we, we can but look, uh, it was a support that we got that we cannot even imagine uh, yes. when we actually take part in an event. We, we wanted water, we just raised our hand and we got water. We wanted exactly. electrolyte, we raised the other hand, we got electrolyte. It was that kind of support. Yes. We talk a lot about this days, guys, but before we go, this was the day, right? Before we go to the, this day, we had a journey. We all had a journey. We had started from uh, an origin uh, and we had all of us had different backgrounds and how we have evolved as a runner. What are the mm -hmm. mistakes that we have done and how we have learned from those mistakes converted them into our success, we will talk a lot about it. So yeah. Ash, uh, oh, I can see your photo. Part. Yeah, the, the chubby, the chubby Ash. So uh, Ash, uh, why don't you say something uh, uh, during your chubby days? I think we lost Ash for uh, some technical glitch. We'll go ahead and uh, Suri, I see uh, you are winning a cup. You're taking a, an award from uh, someone, from, from a guest. Uh, is it about cricket or? Yeah, yeah the, the, so that was that was about cricket. You know, I, I was always you know a gully cricketer you know, since my childhood, and and the passion grew along with me. You know, and I was so fortunate to you know represent and then played at uh, corporate level. You know, uh, since the day I joined, you know, I started my career, 
and then believe me there was hardly an off weekend uh, you know where you know unless there was a washout due to rains you know there was never a weekend in a where i didn't play cricket but soon responsibilities cropped in like marriage and then eventually kid and then one day i was actually uh, returning uh, while i was returning from the cricket match you know i saw a banner of hyderabad runners cricket event in, in november 2016 and then instinctively registered my daughter for 1k run and then she could complete i mean at she was 3 years then you know she could complete that quite easily and then you know that's when i thought ki okay if i pick up running you know there is a high chance that i can actually influence her you know and spend my more with her later point of time and then you know inspire her with my thoughts so you know without without any you know double minds you know i just went ahead and then you know uh, started running but you know i don't have i don't know how to run and then how to start and where to start basically it so happens like you know once you thought of doing something good you know things fall in place for you you know so before exactly. even the thought dies off you know uh, i heard about hyderabad runners ka coach to 5k program and then you know i registered so yeah i'll i'll, I'll tell you know more about that you know i would like to more i know more about you where you know, you're looking chubby as well yeah i'm i'm hiding my tires uh, with my hands so that was me uh, a, a bengali guy fond of rasgullas and uh, mishti doi and uh, so uh, four years of hostel life and that that's what uh, i i have i i i got into some habits bad habits obviously uh, in during the hostel days started enjoying those days priorities changed uh from uh, athlete from uh, too much into athletics i was zero into sports uh, so this is the photo that you see on the screen is during that time when i hardly used to wake up early in the morning i was a very laid back lazy person only used to go to the office work come back eat sleep uh, late nights were very common those days uh, that was me and yeah that that was uh, where uh, from that was the time like uh, i remember it was 2015 so one fine sunday morning i was just walking on the isb road and i remember a bunch of runners they were running down the microsoft hill i just asked a guy what are you guys doing where are you guys going uh-huh. so I, i i remember it was gansham and he said we are running i said i understand that you guys are running <laughs> but what is it all about like i didn't have I, I, for me uh, marathon and all was Uh, something uh, way beyond my thinking right so from a 100 meter 200 meter uh, runner uh, i never heard about marathon to be honest at that point of time and uh, today people might laugh at me but at that when i did my first 5k i used to call that as a marathon i don't know whether you guys have done that mistake or not but i used to call a 5k as a marathon so yeah, but, yeah i do i do that <laughs> <laughs> so that was me so kansham told me uh, you just join so i i said okay i just joined the bunch of runners it was very easy running down that uh, microsoft hill i never understood i have to come back also <laughs> and while coming back it was like oh my god why this why these guys are running on a hill so that was my feeling yeah uh, so even so, even while i was actually playing cricket right you know i used to see runners you know running you know alone you know uh, in the service road you know towards that you know babukan cricket arena ground so i was wondering yes. you know why the hell these guys are you now running alone you know water bottle in the hand and then you know popping hopping and then spread yeah. all over the body i was never you know, yeah. you know after i do that now you know i feel like you know the you know what the kind of you know mistake you know i have thought you know at that time it it was like you know it's a game changer actually all together yeah yeah absolutely i completely agree <laughs> So this was all about our emergence from where we started. Uh, we all, we well, all were chubby, and uh, we have uh, now we got Ash back. Yeah. Hey, Ash! Okay. We just discussed from where we started uh, uh, the the journey, uh, how we got hooked into long distance running. Yes. So Suri and me uh, already uh, shared our experiences. Yes. We'd like to know from you yes. uh, what is your origin? How okay. did you come into long distance running? Yes. So first of all, apology. Uh, I am uh, sitting in a village and giving this. So I am hoping between uh, you know my um, uh, what do you call that. um uh, hot spot hot spot so i'm sorry for that okay further any delay uh, i am an it guy like uh, you know i did my schooling and everything from urissa i am i'm from urissa but i did my only education there but uh, my survival my uh, you know uh, paychecks and everything everything comes from hyderabad only so uh, this is my home uh, presently and uh, i have been here for almost like you know 12 13 years Uh, i don't want to stay in any part of the country i may go there for work but finally i want to stay here only 
the people the roads the political stability the food the environment the running community these are the best thing that i uh, choose about hyderabad i even went to on site work there for couple of years then um, i came back because i am the only son of my parents so i thought of okay you know coming back and taking care of it so everything was going smooth i changed cities uh, about my job but it's hyderabad where my destination is written uh, i think it is also called a land of bhagya bhagyanagaram so i so that is where i got all my bhagyas uh, from hyderabad only and um, uh, there is there was no sports till uh, you know 2015 i was all working you can see my fatty uh, tummy and all I, 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 people say you are so handsome then I, you are running you have lost weight you have lost your face glows everything what that you have achieved i say i i i achieved you know uh, happiness so uh, and i found real ash who is it so that's all about it <laughs> and uh, so after 2015 that's a journey that we will uh, see going ahead obi so but yes this slide says i am an it guy uh, i was almost like i think 38 39 uh, close to around 39 years of age i was very happy very good looking my wife says so and uh, you know uh, only thing which was missing is i was looking for something which can give me a kick like at the end of the day you know uh, which says okay ashwin you did something really nice and all it's all you not your team not your management not anyone it's you ash a funny part over here i see the picture i see you were very happy with your boss next to you but you were not so happy when you were sitting next to your wife what is the, the fun going on man that's a universal question man that's you ask any uh, you know 35 above guys they will say the, uh, they will understand they will not speak anything <laughs> So you mean to say your boss is a better person than 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 that of your wife? Now you are you are gone, Ash. You you have to answer this. Yeah, this 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 is this is a live recording and and gonna stay forever. <laughs> yeah, Ash. Now you have to answer this. <laughs> no, my wife might be also be uh, looking into it. So yes, yeah, sir, both are important. You know, office uh, boss and uh, at home uh, home minister. So both are important. Yeah. Uh, okay guys so uh, but uh, so we we got to know from suri how how suri has been inspiring uh, his daughter and ash uh, how how he loves hyderabad and uh, so we will move on from here and we will talk a lot about our journey in the coming days of, uh, 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 what we have done during our initial days how we have uh, got hooked into running and how we have taken it forward from there so uh, ash uh, i see you were into cycling you were you were posing yes. with a cycle so was that just a pose or you were you were not sweating and uh, how was it like uh, how much distance did you cover on the cycle uh, i will start that i will answer that but i have one question so uh, for you both of you so uh, obik what was your weight at that time like uh, this photograph how much was your weight hello surender i am 76 the max i could hit you know in my lifetime so far okay uh, okay so i was uh, like almost like uh, 75 yeah 75 76 close to that so initially i started you know uh, after 2015 I, i i thought like you know i need to do i never thought like i will get into sports like uh, running or uh, uh, cycling never i just saw some people they are running they are uh, fronting their medals uh, on the facebook people are clapping people are giving comments so uh, to be honest i never started any of these sports for reducing weight or for reducing um, you know fat and all never i just did it because of sheer passion and the that um, you know that lalach of uh, uh, accumulating the medals that is what i want so many medals in my wardrobe that's the only thing which where i started uh, the uh, activities so cycling of course is the first one but the problem with cycling are three or four one is it's a very expensive sport like uh, you have to spend at least 40 50000 60000 60, minimum to at least get into a road and to start uh, you know uh, living your passion that's the number one second one is there is not a big team if you see like any cycling group you name there will be hardly 10 15 12 14 nothing beyond that look at uh, running community there are hundreds and hundreds sags are there so life is very different so that was something i was riding i was going to places but somewhere at the um, somewhere in my heart i was thinking like this is a sport which is you know a solo sport and um, very uh, risky accident are uh, bound to happen on roads 
uh, you can even lose life also just for a sake of a cycling for a passion you may uh, even lose your life also so it's very difficult but somehow i started it i didn't know what i am doing uh, somehow i was getting the kick so um, and i uh, continued the journey but when i started i never looked for you know uh, reducing my weight or uh, anything it's just for medal so that's where i started um, later we will speak more on you know how i get into uh, running uh, after that uh, how about you um, surinder yeah so so coming to me you know i i you know the moment i saw that you know coach to 5k uh, announcement i i registered with the botanical group because you know that is very close to my home uh, and then you know uh, i visited the botanical garden for first time for a very different purpose um, waking up early in the morning and then you know being there by 6 o'clock and then you know getting the best of the men- mentors you know from hyderabad runners group like you know sridhar rajaparthi somya deep and then ravi sitla who gave us you know the proper running training you know of running drills and then run form running form mm-hmm. and then you know run walk approach you know for all for for a newbie you know to be there at 5k you know we, i got the best input from them you know but since you know i have a sporting background of you know playing cricket you know i it didn't take much time for me to you know uh, you know pick up those points and then you know imbibe that you know running uh, stuff and then eventually i finished the 5k graduation you know very close to in 28 minutes and then you know i got a you know uh, a very good uh, you know an uh, encouragement from all my mentors and then you know as you know the story doesn't end there once you got the encouragement and then you know you got the bug you know the fresh legs wanted more you know but but the system is very half baked for next level and then you know uh, but i registered for 10k and then half marathon you know back to back you know we, uh, you know i just used to you know see where are the you know running you know events happen and then you know i just randomly go and then you know register for all of those events but yeah, yeah uh, you know that actually costed into something else which i'll you know talk in a bit uh, maybe avi can you can you share about your stuff so when i when i see uh, cycle okay so uh, i i did couple of runs with uh, the group and then i saw a guy uh, coming in in a very nice cycle okay that was anubhav so i went up to him and i asked him uh, Uh, about the cycle and all that so he was mentioning about bike and i didn't know what bike is about so huh. I, i never knew that a cycle is also being called as a bike okay so for me uh, i always have called uh, it a cycle and then he he said like the, the the bike that he was using was more than a lakh i was like yes. how can a cycle cost more than a lakh matlab i never had that idea but now i know <laughs> yeah ash as you mentioned it's a, a costly sport it's a very costly sport yeah But so that, uh, that's so so abik one question like th- this uh, photograph that you saw right that is a stadium right uh, this is our gachiwali stadium right the top one correct yes, correct it. yes yes so okay. this was my uh, half marathon debut if you see how uh, how immature i was uh, at that point of time i was yes. carrying a uh, half a liter of bottle or I, i don't remember what what ml was that i was carrying a bottle around my waist and yes. you see how i was striking i will also mention how i used to buy shoes okay i used to filter out with price uh, in amazon or uh, the, <laughs> or flip yes. cut and whatever used to come at a better price okay forget about the brand um, i used, used to filter with running shoes and price whatever yes. used to come at a cheaper price i used to just go for that and if you see i was uh, i was landing on my heel so from uh, 100 meter to long distance running i always had this issue like Uh, reducing the stride length like it it was not easy for me the, the transformation from a sprinter to a long distance runner it was mm-hmm. very very difficult okay. so as uh, suri mentioned uh, he started with couch to 5k 5k i also started with uh, rebok running group in 2015 like uh, shiv uh, and ravi both of them has initially molded me okay ha- has uh, made me half and puff a lot and uh, these guys were uh, very brutal man i hate them a lot because of the kind of torture that they have given it to me during the earlier days but yeah i still used to enjoy those torture and uh, never i used to miss my runs uh, but i never used to miss those uh, strength sessions uh, during the earlier days that was yeah. me during that time Excellent. and uh, so uh, from 5k 10k it was not a big deal for me because of my uh, previous background uh, into athletics but uh, from 10k it was like Uh, I did a 5k. Uh, okay, I did a 10k as well. Also, uh, next is what half marathon, full marathon. It was all like that for me. And each and every run, believe me, guys, I used to go all out. I never had a background of what 
uh, interval mm-hmm. is, what tempo run is, what long run is. For me, it's like go out, give all out, and then take rest for another week. Okay, yeah. so I used to take a week or more than that to recover. So that was my initial days. Okay, a lot of mistakes I have done, and uh, and if you see the next picture, that was club run. I got a podium place in that, but you see my yeah, my see foot that. is taped. I I was asked. Uh, I am sorry to interrupt. I was actually going to ask because every runner is running on one side, and you are coming from the other side. If you see on the opposite side, you are running. So that we were half, we were doing half marathon. Maybe they were they had a late start uh, because uh, it oh, was okay. a, a 10k uh, this thing. I came third in this event, but mm-hmm. uh, the damage that I've done to my body, you can see already tapes that tapes that there. But I I did not resist. I could not resist myself. I went ahead and I did the run. But I will never suggest anyone uh, to do this ever in their life. So that's one mm-hmm. of my learnings and mistakes that I have done uh, during the initial days. Yeah. So, uh, Surendra, so that was me just one question so surender that was the decathlon one right decathlon to uh, suchitra one right the yeah, decathlon suchitra run yeah 10k yes, yes. so they used to do all that event around that 2015 16 and all yes correct yeah 2017 i did but, that I did that run you know in uh, may time frame yes and, and yeah immediately you know i registered for uh, hm 2017 you know without much of you know uh, running mileage and then you know all the thin experience and then zero strength workout Actually, resulted in a bonus of ligament tear, and then I took a six week uh, six weeks of good break, and then realized the importance of strength training. And then, you know, uh, since then, I always gave an edge to strength training than the run routine. So, of course, you know, no, I, I never wanted to get slapped twice for the same mistake I do. So, touch wood, you know, I, 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 you know, so far, you know, I didn't have any, you know, such big break since then. You know, there were some, you know, kind of niggles, you know, because of the running mileage or because of, you know, some other, you know, uh, you know, uh, maybe lack of sleep or, you know, pro- improper nutrition sometimes. But there was never a case of, you know, getting me injured, you know, since then. So I debuted with, you know, two, two and a half hours of half marathon in August 2017 AHM. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, uh, after that, you know, injury in AHM. Uh, I took break and then resumed running, you know, along with proper strength training. And then, you know, I did a you know half ma- half ultra marathon, uh, 25k, and then completed in you know same time, almost two two hour thirty one minutes. So you know, the, the, even though you know, like you know, the mind is my you know the mind my mind is greedy with thoughts, you know, uh, and then which will never die so soon. You know, I thought of you know, okay, why not you know you know have some discipline in kinds of in, in the time of you know the, the workouts and then the run routine. You know, why do go hurry? You know, there is always, you know, the better time, you know, if you can, if you can actually, you know, properly, you know, pace your stuff and then, you know, uh, kind of, you know, uh, improvise your, you know, uh, discipline a much. So, and also there is a, you know, uh, kind of myth I have that, you know, if I don't run fast or maintain the pace for every run I do, I would not be able to maintain the same pace on the race day. So, but the fact is, if I run every run at same pace, most likely that, you know, that I would end up in a disaster race. So, that was one of the biggest learning I have, you know, over the you know time period, you know, in our last two, three years. And then, you know, at least now, you know, I came uh, into such a position that, you know, okay, I, I, you know, if I have a specific workout, you know, I have to respect the pace or respect the feel and then, you know, just, just listen to the body. I, I, should, I should never push myself, you know, unless, you know, it's really, really required. Yes. So I think, uh, Obik, if we have to like, you know, uh, learn, like, uh, honestly, let me say if I uh, know one guy, one guy in any any running community who runs slow, but he gets the result, achieve his target and make a remarkable, you know, execution time, that's surrender. Because I know everyone is running Absolutely. fast. Absolutely. Everyone <laughs> is running fast. There are many actually across, you know, Globe and then across in, in uh, India as well. You know, I, I just take a cue from, you know, each one of them and then, you know, try to imbibe in the training, in the training, you know, whatever I do, it's all about, you know, sharing and caring. That's what, you know, our Hyderabad runners, you know, taught us, right. You know, since the you know, day we actually came into the running, uh, running community, you know, the moment, the, the more you learn, you know, the more you can share actually to this, you know, so that, you know, we can create a better running culture amongst, you know, a, you know amongst the society right. and, you know, that will lead us to happy living. Yeah. Ovik, would you like to go second? I will share my mistakes and learning later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ash, you all, I know, I always you want to push it to me. I know that. <laughs> you are the <laughs> lead. <laughs> <laughs> you are our pacemaker. That's why. That's why. 
Uh, no, no, nothing as such. But yes, uh, as uh, Suri has mentioned, that uh, the strength training has played uh, has played a key role in his emergence into a strong runner, and the discipline that uh, he has brought into it into his uh, training. I also believe that. So uh, I understood that uh, we we are we are all amateur runners, and we need to respect that. We are not elite runners who only survives on running. We have a walk to do. We have family to take care. So uh, we cannot run all our runs. We cannot take all our runs as hard runs. That was the biggest mistake that I used to do. Realize that, and uh, we need to recover. We need to respect the body, and uh, that is what we all have got into running. Yes, we got got uh, hooked by it. We uh, we we wanted to give our best uh, in in each of the fields in our life, but that doesn't mean that. Uh, we endanger our life as well. So I have done exactly. a lot of mistakes. I remember in one of the half marathons, uh, Hyderabad, Airtel, Airtel Hyderabad half marathon, I pushed myself so much that I fell down after the after the run. And I I I, I went back and I thought like uh, this is not why what I should do with myself. There is there is nothing that I'm going to gain out of it. I will lose uh, the the fun of running if I continuously do this. And then, uh, as uh, Suri mentioned, I, I went back to the basics. I I I, I respected my body, and uh, then gradually, it, it it didn't happen in a day. I I had I had to have a lot of patience. Okay, I still do mistakes, and I feel uh, these mistakes are making me a better runner every day. Correct. I I personally believe that uh, we should have. Uh, a lot of failures as well not only yes. success Successes, yes. uh, we cannot become a Perfect. successful runner uh, yes. without failures so if you see the picture uh, this this is the last uh, year uh, chennai run so i i have trained very hard for this race and i i i don't know what uh, happened to me uh, on this day um uh, i it i was i i was running as per my uh, training whatever pace i have trained for but uh, i couldn't uh, uh, take it all all throughout okay so the learning that i have learned from this race is i need to respect the weather as well i yes. i trained in hyderabad i never uh, trained in a humid condition as that of chennai so my learning from this particular race is uh, we also need to modulate our pace based on the sure. weather condition, weather condition. Uh, suri you might remember when we were at the start line Yes. at 4 o'clock in the morning before 4 yes. o'clock our our t-shirts were already drenched already so that was yes. chennai it was very yes. brutal yes but I, i i did not respect the weather i went ahead with the belief that i will remain very strong with the pace that i'm targeting but that did not happen so yes. that's my learning from this race and i i i think ash you also might have a lot of learnings from your uh, trainings and races why don't you share that with all of us yes. so here it is all the 40 35 plus guys listen to me okay there are plenty of mistakes i did okay and uh, you should not have to do that first mistake uh, if i have to categorize like you know top three mistake the first mistake i did is in my one and half year or second year of running i did two full marathons one ultra runs and um, i think one half marathon i did so uh, hyderabad uh, ultra 50 km i did and a two uh, full marathon in my i think uh, 13 14 months of uh, uh, running experience one is hyderabad marathon and one is bangalore marathon so why i did it because it is hyderabad it is close to my heart the event is very close in, in it is in my backward uh, backyard like it's in gachibowli stadium so 50 kilometers we have to do uh, hyderabad running community will be there so let's go and cheer it up so it was all josh it was all like you know mm, Uh, 100 uh, out of 100 98% it is all josh and 2% is all uh, like you know brain or uh, you know hosh so 2% hosh 98% it is josh so please don't do that mistake follow a structured training plan and go ahead with it second mistake that i did is like you know i didn't knew about the strength training the type of runnings we have like you know uh, uh, nowadays we know the tempo interval uh, fat leg so many types of runs are there hill runs so at that time there was nothing just run just run on the open field go to some in, um, uh, marathon events and grab a, um, uh, you know that medal and show it in your facebook for uh, comments or wow uh, uh, wow okay so don't do that follow a particular uh, because you are already 35 you are already 40 you are already 45 your bones 
your um, you know your uh, muscles are not meant for sprinting at this point of time it will take some time to develop so first develop it first spend 2 3 years enjoy running run very slow nicely develop that muscles and then go for all this type of training so de- definitely it will help and the third mistake that i did is you know i always like you know mm, the nutrition these i never used to care in my you you said like you are taking a bottle with you water and all um, you know you and uh, i i saw like uh, surendra is uh, running with that full pant i think in that uh, suchitra white color yeah. full pant you were running okay so you won't believe i was wearing my night uh, that half pant what do you call half pant and running it and um, uh, the sorry don't take it otherwise but the inners and all those are not uh, running friendly so i had to go to some place i had to change my underwear you know throw it out only run with the pants and all that stupid things i have done you know all <laughs> very crazy stuffs so never uh, let's not re- repeat all those mistakes go very nicely and you know understand it understand your body so these slides which you see so these are my learnings so what you do is you uh, do it is a very methodical and very um, what do you call gradual process your body takes time you are already 35 it will take time uh, your body need to understand what is running what is a 10k pace what is a 5k pace what is strength training you explain a strength training or a, uh, you know any uh, that uh, um, hit hit workout or any um, uh, anything jumba workout anything to a one year guy he will not understand he will not understand the importance of it but you uh, tell to any you know uh, four five years of running guy he will understand it because he sees the benefit out of it so here the intake is go very slowly gradually follow some guidance and accordingly pick up so this photograph uh, it was almost like dying condition at the gachiwali stadium and the below photograph which you see is i'm a big fan of you know i think we have lost ash for a technical glitch uh, no worries guys uh, uh, suri is there to cover us cover us up uh, suri so what what does the first picture talks about like where you were half oh we we got back ash hey ash uh, sorry uh, uh, i think we lost him again okay uh, yeah. no issues suri you can take it up what is this picture all about so so the the, the chennai marathon you know we ran along right you know yeah. <laughs> i i i did the same mistake you know as you know i i just prepared for you know some you know, marathon pace of you know x and then you know i have actually uh, there are two mistakes actually one thing you know i underestimated the weather the other thing is i started at marathon pace minus 10 seconds so even though i prepared all my training runs everything was at 4:30 you know it kind of you know i started at 4:17 4:20 suddenly and then you know thought of you know achieving the glory but you know it's it's kind of you know i achieved that you know uh, you know the humbling experience in chennai as well you know similar kind of mistake whatever i have done in you know uh, in my debut marathon again you know i have done the same thing in chennai but yeah uh, at least you know uh, at least that was a hard hitting experience you know i i got that in chennai i mean uh, more or like you know i went ahead as per the hr uh, training whatever i have done but you know i would have respected the weather also a bit and then would have you know uh, paced my run accordingly but but even though not too too much away from the target you know i i did you know uh, a decent run there itself but yeah, as ash is mentioning right you know everything comes as a compound you know uh, the the more you, the more you do mistakes or the more you are disciplined you know it, it actually compounds well compounds for a while and then it actually shows after some, after some time yeah. so even though you make mistakes you know you should actually learn uh, you know uh, from them and then try not to repeating them uh, that's what you know the learning is for me and then you know from there you know at least i try to be you know uh, more disciplined since then and then yeah at least okay uh, i am back can you hear me guys Yes, yes. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. We can. We can. Yeah. So the, only the last point I want to make is that uh, the photograph barefoot. Like I am a kind of an crazy guy. Like I love uh, running barefoot, uh, bare uh, chest. Like you know, uh, not previously, but now little bit of you know abs and all are there. Plus it uh, free. It's a free running. Kipchoge says free running, right? So for me that is the free running. And um, every night I watch this Kenyan and Ethiopian how they train in that Kipta Ghat, uh, uh, you know that uh, stadium and all. Uh, and uh, bare chest and all the uh, you know sweat and all so that's what i try to replicate in the below one at our bhcl uh, ground so yeah so that's the kick i get so so these are the learnings like you know don't push yourself too hard push um, economical go very uh, you know um, 
methodical you will definitely achieve it when i am able to do it like at this 42 44 uh, with 5 years of work experience of this running experience why can't you guys can be able to do it so definitely yeah a very good Absolutely. point made ash and suri so uh, we have done a lot of mistakes we have learned from them and definitely we have taken it forward those learnings and that made us a successful runner uh, over a long period of time it didn't happen in a day guys so as as surendra nash right he mentioned and they have mentioned it couple of times that you have to believe the process you have to be patient you have to work hard and that will take you towards a success stories yes ash i i i think you have won a lot of money man how much did you win No, no, no. Uh, more than me because I have been winning only last one year only. I think you are winning since 2016 because of podium you said. So you start this. You start talking about how much money you accumulated. No, no. So yeah, honestly speaking, uh, the first money that I got, I got a lot of prizes from my school days, college days, and uh, here in Hyderabad as well. So that that was okay, but I never uh, won prize money. till uh, chennai full marathon so chennai full marathon i got fourth and i didn't even know that they are going to give a prize to the fourth uh, candidate as well all of a sudden i uh, i got a call and i was like amazed i won 35000 and uh, it was like i never i never became yeah i never became that happy after drawing uh, my first salary was also that money and i immediately purchased a garmin i used to use a very basic garmin and i i still flaunt it that this is uh, from my prize money hard so, uh, hard uh, earned money <laughs> hard earned money hard earned money yeah yeah definitely that to chennai weather surender chennai yes. weather a podium and first prize money was that yeah later on i won um, a, a few more but yes that that will always remain special uh yeah i, I have I have a couple of photos over here that uh, talks about my success journey as well. The first photo is the club run, so uh, I, I I could do uh, a one twenty four over there. That was my PB uh, at that point of time, and uh, the photo next to that uh, is my present um, half marathon timing. I have done a one twenty half marathon last year in Delhi. Uh, I didn't race a half marathon uh, so far. Didn't do a uh, self uh, run as well. I'm yet to do that. And uh, the photo to the left, uh, down down left, uh, that's my first sub three. So this is this is another one that I will always uh, cherish throughout my life. And you know what? It was sub three by margin, two fifty nine and fifty one seconds. So it was sub three, yeah, sub three by margin. So I I know what happened. so by uh, it takes some time right to stop the watch like it it takes yes. a fraction of second okay right. so i i i just came and vijay raghavan was waiting for me so i was like came with a very sad face he said what happened i said i think i have missed sub 3 then he find he told me no no it, it is sharp 3 by your watch definitely it is one second less so you have done a sub 3 I just told him that uh, I wish your 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 uh, this prediction uh, gets right, and uh, in the breakfast table and all throughout the lunch and all we kept discussing, and he was consoling me. Don't worry, don't worry. Finally, the text message came uh, from Time in India that yes, it was a two fifty one two fifty nine fifty one. So that was an amazing moment for me. uh the other one that i have this was a very special run this was the time when i just picking up uh my speed i i i i got to know that i am i am i'm doing well with my trainings this the one with uh, a foreigner over here his name is peter so i know him very, I, well. I, I know him very well of he, he is like uh, i think this is uh, our uh, uh, subhajit's uh, school right that uh, school oh, event international school run ha uh, huh, that school Yes, his name is Peter. Correct, and correct. He comes in that forty, forty-four age category. So yeah, I, I, so me and other guy is is a friend of mine from uh, Gatsipur Stadium. So we both were discussing, and we both were saying like, man, why did you come from that land to this land? You're taking us all our prizes. So that was our reaction uh, <laughs> to him. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this was a run very close to my heart. So uh, for the first time, I, I, I timed something around eighteen minutes or so. and uh, it it in in a 5k and that bagged me the third prize over there yes. so that was quite special for me 
um moving on uh, to another i i uh, niranjan can you please take us to the next slide i have another photo which i would like to uh, talk about and uh, that is also yeah so this is uh, the best moment that i had in uh, uh, in the beginning of uh, 2020 so after the disaster uh, the, the my body went through a lot of toss in chennai and within a month i was able to bounce back and uh, that that was my second sub 3 uh, finish uh, in the same event idbi delhi uh, this is also a very close uh, race uh, it will always remain a very close because uh, close race to me because of what i was going through mentally i'll talk a lot about uh, mental preparation uh, and i i can relate to this uh, later on but uh, ash now you have to you have to say how much money you have earned uh, uh, i know no, you have earned a lot about... being 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 at on site you have earned a lot but i want to know how much <laughs> did you earn being in india and uh, by racing no i will ask uh, sunindar to say because six photographs i think seven photographs are there so he is the richest among all of us seven podium seven money seven uh, <laughs> money <laughs> Yeah. Are you sure about your question? You know, <laughs> see, couple of them are couple of them are actually HM, uh, you know, photos where I did my first debut marathon. You know, the first two peaks. Um, you know, uh, with a strong uh, with with you know uh, strength training program. Uh, uh, again, you know, led by Ravi Miska. So, so it it was more like you know uh, the moment I met Ravi Miska first time in HCU, he actually promised me that you know uh, you know I'll get a good name in the next one two years if I actually train with you know Hyderabad uh, Runners' training program. So then and there itself, you know, I registered uh, with Kachiboli, you know, uh, runners group, and then you know trained under him, and then I did my first, uh, you know, uh, full marathon debut in three thirty three and a half hours, and then you know a couple of more seasons, I just I just continued with him, and then got my podium finish in uh, you know club run nineteen uh, uh, with first position, and then that's when you know I thought you know how a uh, how a person can actually you know uh, you know visualize that you know. A, a, I mean, without knowing anything about me, that you know, I can actually do wonders, you know, uh, down the line of one, one or another year. So that that's the kind of you know, uh, you know, so special about him. Uh, and then you know, post that, you know, I have started preparing on my own, you know, because of other commitments, you know, where my, you know, I need to take my daughter for swimming classes, and then later joining her in the stadium for general fitness and the running, running, running drills and stuff. uh I, i just built on top of you know the learnings i have got from the you know hyderabad runners group and then uh, you know prepared for uh, later on the club run and then the recent you know uh, the sub 3 i i could just continue the legacy of you know uh, being uh, podium first in club run 2020 you are also there ash you know we just you know both uh, complimented each other in the in the race and then yeah. got a, you know the pb of you know 123 hours uh, timing and then um, the real you know joyful moment was you know when i actually paced uh, hm uh, in hm 2019 where i paced uh, one hour 45 minutes bus uh, you know being a failure in hm 2017 where i crawled uh, to finish my first debut half marathon in 2 and 1/2 hours and then to pace uh, the same event you know in of one hour 45 minutes bus in within 2 years of span it actually speaks in a lot of you know uh, a lot about the hyderabad runners training program and then how structured it was you know uh you know in terms of strength training and then you know the different course even different you know the running uh, run routines everything you know uh, that's my you know success here in this particular picture yes so so now it's my turn abhik abhik have you seen any old guys like anyone who is going 44 40 43 44 45 46 47 he's becoming happy you see me you know why because i am going into that uh, what do you call that uh, what category um, Um, age incentive category. age incentive category where uh, you you get into the podium the leader board oh yeah yes yeah. so i am uh, so i am already now you know going to land up in 44 so hopefully like i will be in the veteran category i have to do lot of hard work and i have to you know uh, uh, beat many veterans so i am really excited of getting old okay okay now coming to this journey okay so this journey actually 2019 onwards i uh, you know started getting few podiums uh, if i remember correct five or six podiums i got but more than the money things like which is involved it is like you know the hard work that you have put the discipline which you have adopted the love of the people and the you know the recognition that you get that people follow you they uh, and they try to Im- imitate you so that is more encouraging money is something okay we earn from our salary also that's not a big thing but these are the things like running is not our forte if you see none of uh, when running is not the forte of any of us our job is coding our job is you know uh, working for a client so that is our primary job but being coming to this platform 
and you know motivating so many um, you know uh, non professional runners uh, community motivating them inspiring them that is uh, a real money for me so um, yeah so those three if you see many of them are like as uh, surender said we um, uh, you know compete almost uh, to e each other but that competition actually brings the best out of him so i am very much you know happy to be like you know um, losing the battle to surender because i know i will definitely get my pb on that day so <laughs> <laughs> so that is one and uh, uh, that, that is one hyderabad uh, ultra marathon uh, from nb sports thanks to them they gave me some money which is really motivating second one is uh, i think that uh, herbal life one uh, two times uh, club runs and few others uh, are also there but uh, yeah so that's the journey so this is the reward of the hard work that we do and as i said money is not important but it is the love of the people and the execution like the how you progressed how you you know um, how you uh, learn the things how you are executing how you are performing that's more important and that gives the more kick than just the prize money yeah very rightly pointed and i think that. i would i would like to con yes i and i want to congratulate both of you for uh, i think surender will get more money from fast and up uh, about that 5k fit zirald and also uh, uh, excellent about that but obix timing really man 16 minutes you are not achieving uh, winning podium also so it's really tough competition in your age group yeah 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 but yeah thank you thank you yeah congratulations to you to ash Uh, but this is yes, all yes. about our uh, uh, success stories, our hard work, uh, the mistakes that we have made, the learnings that we have acquired. But everything was going fine, okay. And then the year two thousand twenty twenty came, and the world has paused uh, a button, okay. Our our running stopped. We were confined in our houses, okay, and that was really tough, both uh, physically and yes. mentally. okay so yes. uh, what what did you guys do during the lockdown time how did you guys um, uh, keep yourself fit and how did you guys uh, were able to motivate yourself for me the motivation part at that point of time is also not easy because uh, uh, it it was too much uh, because all the day we were stuck at home there were no maids yes. uh, you have to do a lot of work on your own which you were not used to yes. uh, doing and uh, it it was it wasn't easy for any one of us so uh, suri what did you do during the lockdown to keep yourself motivated entertained and keep yourself to remain fit and healthy so 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 uh, during the pandemic the only thing i wanted to be uh, is you know mentally positive and then uh, physically negative so uh, so i did you know dance uh, you know i do dance occasionally you know prior to that as well you know which is an aerobic activity kind of thing Uh, so to maintain the aerobic endurance during the lockdown you know i switched to dance and then continued uh, the regular strength workouts which i learned from the hyderabad runners you know training programs so once the lockdown norms are a bit eased i used to run in the neighborhood and then always you know went solo uh, you know with with maintaining the social distance everything uh, you know keeping myself safe and then uh, uh, one of the other things i worked on is you know to improve my mental strength uh, Uh, so the the thing i followed was you know basically uh, to do the things you know in a monotonous way so dancing for same song again and again for numerous times and then running the same route again and again U usually usually i mean um, there is a you know uh, a belief that you know the, the body gets if the body gets used to the repetitive sequence you know uh, there is more uh, stress on the you know mind rather than on the physical you know uh, so that's what you know i i i did it in my own way by you know to actually gain that mental strength you know by you know doing the same kind of activity again and again and then you know, uh, you know throw that away of uh, throw the you know the, any uh, imbalances out of my mind uh, so easily how about you no surinder um, it's a very nice point and good to know that you uh, you do uh, dancing as part of aerobic activity we have a question from pravu so uh, Prabhu yes. wants to know uh, during training preparation, how important is it to do cross training, especially biking? Maybe yes. Ash can take take up this uh, question at this part. How biking, how cycling will help out help uh, anyone who is yes. into a marathon training? And the next question from Prabhu is: uh, Is it really required, or only a structured running plan will help him grow? So yes. uh, I would like to get the answer from Ash first. 
and then yes. i would ask surender that about the training aspect so yes. if you can absolutely uh, surender can talk on the plan he is a very planning guy okay so okay let me tell about uh, you know that uh, cross training thing definitely you know see uh, every person every muscle groups every uh, uh, metabolic system and uh, you know your body structure it's different from person to person what works for you abhik may not work for me what works for me may not work for surender so absolutely one thing which i have understood is like for me personally from my experience that i am giving my example actually cross training there are plenty of cross trainings like you know you run or you prepare for an ultra marathon you are preparing not every day you can run right there has to be an uh, lean day uh, an easy day so in easy day if you do some cross training now you can do swimming also but and cycling also but these two are very common uh, very easily accessible so you do it and you feel a difference in your muscle group so even you can walk also for some people walking also works but it just that like you know since i have been doing uh, cycling uh, initially i did it so and it gives me a good boost also so i do um, uh, cycling i go and move around at gachi bolly some 30 40 km that's all i do uh, previously i used to to go um, far but i had got an accident where uh, some you know some uh, stitches and all came up so that's where i am limiting only to 30 uh, 35 km only but yes obviously that uh, cross uh, cross uh, training in cycling will definitely uh, work to uh, you know keep your muscles intact damaging um, you know uh, the, um, prevent muscle damage and recovery so all this will be are required and on easy day why will you sleep go and have a cycling so that's how i think so yes yeah so yes. prabhu very nicely uh, ash has elaborated uh, and answered your question uh, so prabhu's next question to you surender is like uh, is biking or cycling is absolutely necessary or one can also go ahead with a structured program of running uh, what do you think suri about it Yeah, so so coming to me, uh, uh, that's a good one, Prabhu. So I, I never did any uh, cycling activity uh, in my running, uh, you know, uh, so far uh, running journey so far. So I I only do walking uh, sometimes, uh, that too along with my daughter and then wife, uh, just to you know uh, do some cross training. I I don't I, I mean I I read it somewhere. I mean even even a walk is actually a cross training. But most of the time I do I do follow uh, the structured running program uh, for any race, and then I I, I just stick to it. I, I don't really you know uh, I didn't really actually you know uh, pick up any cross training so far. Uh, uh, Obik, I just wanted to uh, pick this question. Uh, we uh, got another question from Amit. His question is like you know necklace road is now concrete. Absolutely. Was it something you thought it about uh, during December sixth uh, sub three run? Uh, like he wanted to know, uh, like uh, did you know about it? Uh, how did you plan about it? If you had selected another venue, would you have bettered your timing? Um, uh, this is the question from Amit, and there was another question from Karthik that what difference it makes to wear hand sleeves, and he is asking me. So I think that uh, uh, question from Amit we will try to answer during our last slide when that uh, necklace road uh, execution time comes up. So, sure. so uh, Amit, please hold on. We. I think. Uh... we lost ash uh, uh, see the details uh, but meantime let me answer karthik's uh, uh, question that hand hand slip honestly i follow kipchoge so kipchoge and if, if you see like you know mo farah so they were uh, uh, you know uh, hand slips so i thought okay let me try also and from our hyderabad we have uh, kranti also kranti kiran so i started wearing it i never think about that sun or because i want i want to become black person so i don't really care whether it is sun or anything the uh, uh, darker i become i will be really happy so i just wear it because those guys are wearing but later i really found like it is actually adding um, you know when you run for a long distance 42 km your hands starts like little bit of uh, you know uh, what do you call it balance you uh, lose the balance or something so yes hand slips they really help you to keep your motion intact and uh, i really feel like you know there is something um, uh, with me like which is holding my hands so i don't really have to do a uh, uh, like you know uh, put more effort in that one so uh, that's what uh, response to karthik thanks karthik and amit response we will uh, response will give during that last slide uh, surinder and abhik sure yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. so there is another question from prabhu he wants to know that uh, the running injuries that we have gone through how we have encountered those injuries and what our what is our uh, key takeaways and learnings from uh, those injuries so uh, uh, prabhu each one of us uh, are different 
and uh, uh, strength wise also uh, muscle imbalance there are a lot of factors over here muscle imbalance strength okay and if any one of us or if if say i am having a muscle imbalance okay that comes by birth it's not so easy uh, to rectify that muscle imbalance so yes. if one muscle is imbalanced what happens is the other muscles uh, plays a bigger role and gets used more so when that happens okay uh, so you you also get into an injury because of overuse yes. so uh, i i have gone through a lot of injuries in my life i i had a, a shin injury because of my stride i used to land on the heels yeah the tt takeaway is i had to uh, make my strides shorter i i had to ensure that my landing pattern change so this is the t takeaway from the shin split injury that i got also i had to strengthen my calf muscles my shin muscles as well um i also got uh, a hamstring tear and that was because of foolishness and uh, uh, what to say so hamstring injury normally comes because of uh, less warm up okay a uh, warm up is very very important okay if you don't warm up your muscles properly and you all of a sudden you take up the speed or you you run a downhill any time you can get injured okay so warm up is very yeah. critical and overall strength training okay mm -hmm. the, the uh, training the muscles you you need to it, it's a big difference i i would like to uh, stress yeah. over here it, it's not about uh, going to the gym and then building up a body yeah. you we need to train ourselves to the movement uh, that we take up during running okay yeah. that is the key so uh, I, mean, uh, i just wanted to add one thing here uh, to uh, amit uh, sorry to prabhu's question prabhu if anyone tells you that you will not be get injured in this journey then he's lying you you take you follow any one of us you ask any one of us we all get injured my i myself during my four five years running still i have got right a pain in my hamstring uh, surender is having a little bit of pain in his hamstring so injury is a part of it but you should know how to manage it how to deal with it in my 3 4 years of running career i had got pain in everywhere you just name it knee that toe everywhere everywhere i have got uh, uh, like you know pain or some kind of um, what do you call it swelling little bit it will happen but the good thing about it is uh, there is a difference between people say like a pain and then um, what do you call that uh, um, muscle cramp or uh, uh, that itchiness and all so good thing about them is they all will go away so uh, just do proper take uh, injuries will come but uh, know how to deal with them how to take care of it yeah so, so it's it's like you know just you know uh, like you know you have the four pillars like you know hamstring glutes quads and then calf muscle you just need to you know find out where you have actually you know the pain and then uh, you, you have to work out you know the that particular muscle group you know yes. there there if you if you actually refer youtube that's how i actually strengthened you know most of my you know the muscle groups uh, based on imbalances i found during many of my runs and then you know eventually you have to you know understand that you know one of the muscle group you know might be you know uh, you know weak for you and then i mean if you actually strengthen the other three muscles you know it might actually compensate the other muscle uh, muscle part so uh, it might you know give you some uh, surprises and then niggles but it's a journey i mean over a period of time you will eventually understand that you know how to you know uh, you know uh, actually activate that group activate that particular muscle muscle group you know before even you start you know uh, run yeah yeah so uh, one one more thing i would like to add over here uh, prabhu so yeah we all uh, we every one of us don't like to get injured but um, we we get some or other niggles but uh, as both of them has mentioned that we have to manage it uh, the structured training program if we follow a structured training program if we get into a disciplined life okay Uh, we can avoid quite a bit of it but uh, yeah uh, we will not get into major injuries if we follow a structured training program if we respect the distance if we respect the body and if we listen to the body okay yes. and uh, when as ash can talk a more talk more about it we can we we, we all can connect even another day and talk uh, more about yes. this but it cannot be covered uh, in in a short program like this but yes uh, when we are above 40 or so a basic health check up is absolutely necessary so today yes. we got to know the news of our uh, former captain and bcci president sort of ganguly uh, uh, has uh, got mild a, heart attack uh, yeah a mild uh, heart attack so it's 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 very important that we get our uh, vitals checked okay at least once in a years uh, once in a year above 40 
and uh, that is how we can structure we, we can talk to our doctors we can talk to our uh, physiotherapists we can talk to our coaches and get their inputs and build up a training plan that suits me again i repeat every yeah. training plan is different you don't have to do a interval a tempo a heel run to become a marathon that is not at all necessary yes. so every training plan is different okay and the best training plan is what works for you you okay yes. and whatever is written in the book whatever is available over internet doesn't matter okay uh -huh. those guys are smart they have written a book and but what works for me is the best training plan that i should follow that's what my yeah. So, okay, so uh, I just wanted to uh, answer that uh, on that slide, what we did on the pandemic, I didn't answer that. So I will just take 30 seconds to answer. I did all Fagal Panti during this, uh, COVID times. I did one full marathon inside my home, but, but guys, please don't do that. That is madness. That was more of, you know, uh, Josh. So I just did it once, a madness of once. Second time it is called stupidity. So don't repeat that. Uh, I also did one half marathon also uh, at my corridor. And other than that, I did all this uh, strength, uh, whatever you are seeing, some gymming, little bit of gymming, corridor workouts, so all that I did. So, yeah, so uh, take sensible decisions. We have a few to, more questions, Abhik and um, uh, Surendra, but uh, like from Kiran and uh, Milan, but can we just go back to the uh, next slide? Uh, can we go to the next slide so that we can... Uh, on yeah. them and sure, them. sure. We'll do that. Uh, Kiran and Milin will answer your question in a while. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the day uh, because of that we all assembled together. So we would like to uh, share a bit of our experiences of that day and um, it will be nice for all of you to know that what we did and uh, what made us to uh, decide the necklace, ro the road, the kind of support that we got from Hyderabad runners uh, so uh, we will like to talk about that in a bit, uh, in, in a in a gist, and then we'll get back to your questions. Uh, Suri, uh, if you would like to take up about the planning part, and then maybe Ash and uh, I can take up the execution part. Or uh, yeah. yes, sure, sure, yeah. So so regarding the uh, you know the full marathon date, you know, so we had actually decided this uh, date uh, December sixth, almost three months prior, and then I, I discussed this date with Avik, and then later informed Ash as well. So necklace road, necklace road loop was always in our thoughts for FM. You know, uh, even though out of five, out of ten k, five k was cemented. So there were thoughts of running the full marathon uh, in couple of, uh, uh, you know, in couple of loops for uh, entire necklace road loop, and then you know do 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 four four into five k loops on the tankman road. Uh, but again, you know, there were thoughts of, you know, running it on the stadium tracks as well, or, and we also explored Gandhi Maisama crossroads where Jagan did a uh, virtual full marathon there. But finally, we zeroed out on the necklace road itself, even though it, ha it has that cemented road, uh, you know, because of the familiarity aspect for everyone. Uh, so KVB and team, you know, very thankful to them. I mean, they actually came forward to provide the on-route and then SAG support. Uh, he's one of the gem in terms of helping and, and uh, you know, we, we did the uh, route reiki for a couple of times. And then, yeah, we just uh, went ahead with the same route uh, on the D-Day. Yeah. So maybe yeah. you guys can... Uh, yes. I will, yes. So Surinder, during uh, September, I think um, one of our run, uh, like uh, we, I just met him. So he told me, uh, Ash, do you want to do a th sub three uh, run? Me and uh, me and Obik are planning to do. So do you want to join us? S seriously, at that point of time, I, I didn't, I never aimed for this. I mean, this sub three thing was not in my bucket list itself. I was just practicing running, training. I thought, okay, Mumbai Marathon, when it comes, I will try to beat that time only. So when he said, I was excited, but I was not confident. So because I never uh, run anything. So after that, I started getting into some kind of serious training. And, you know, serious training means now coming to uh, one of the questions from um, Milin. So weekly mileage, I did some 100 kilometer runs, uh, like I think for uh, two months, two, two months. But I never did like 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. I did 100. 110 and then again uh, lower is to 70 then again 100 110 again lower is to 60 so that's how the pyramid uh, that structure uh, it went and um, and now uh, yes and uh, after that uh, the strength training i did little bit of it and um, you know uh, uh, i thought i teach my uh, brain mentally because a marathon running a sub 3 marathon forget about physical it's more of mental game you have to be mentally very strong. Like you have to see 415 pace. I have never imagined. So I max, I max run at 420, 425. So I was not getting that confidence. At Mumbai itself, I was like uh, 312, but my pace was 423 or 420. 
so when surender told me i was very much in uh, not i i lost my confidence i thought how will i run 415 uh, every mileage uh, but i think obi came up then he said okay we can be able to do it just have it hold on to that one so some training i did some and yes i did some fast runs uh, long tempo runs i did one or two uh, full marathon just to see how my body copes up towards the end of that uh, like 32 km runs that's the only objective and yes so obik was there so in this video if you see like he was like uh, pacing us so uh, we uh, so that is what we planned so obik will be there in the front he will be pacing us surender will uh, surender to surender me surender will uh, follow like uh, almost match his step to step and he he did that actually and i remember surender was almost trying to you know bypass uh, uh, obik but obik was saying no 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 you guys say so and you know i was the weakest of all of them so for I, i and i am the most happiest among all of them to join you guys because for sure obik was there already two times he did sub 3 surender was there because he did an half marathon in 123 so he will definitely do it but i was not very confident so for me it's a big uh, achievement and i really enjoyed it so yes so what surender said um uh, we went he went uh, to other place um, jagans one jagan also tried once so he went to their reki it didn't work out he came here we did four loops of it and uh, excellent that's how it goes and sag was so three things are there so we did uh, sag support excellent sag by um, uh, our hyderabad uh, own bhaskar shridhar garu they were there that uh, we have two three cars were there they were just uh, helping us they were going beside here in this video you can see bhaskar uh, swami uh, going along with us and um, uh, that's where it all happened and uh, obik uh, he is the man that day who actually helped me to understand what is pacing if i know today what is pacing what pace i have to run that is because of obik only so he maintained that you know uh, till 33 34 km he ensured that we were uh, following that uh, pacing and then uh, race towards the end obik you please share your things yeah so uh, so surender is a guy who is very well planned i i i normally don't talk much in whatsapp groups and all that i i stay always a bit quiet but i i uh, i was reading the messages from uh, surender surendra and the interaction uh, ash and surendra was having so uh, the 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 idea was given by vijay raghavan when he left from uh, hyderabad and uh, so he told that we three can club together and then do a, a full marathon so that's when uh, i think it was a casual discussion between me and surendra and that time um, i was much behind uh, surendra in terms of fitness i i put on weight and i i i wanted some motivation so i gave him a call and then he said yeah we can do it and then um, i i i knew that it it's going to be very tough for me to pace surendra because uh, my he was targeting something around 257 256 258 and while while my pb was uh, itself 256 it it was it is going to be difficult and the kind of uh, believe me guys if uh, i have to look up to someone it is always suri and ash uh, the kind of discipline the kind of hard work that they put so uh, i was a bit scared to be honest that it, it should not happen that instead of me pacing surendra and ash they will be pacing me at the end <laughs> so uh, i was a bit scared and uh, but yes i told them that you have faith in me i'll take you guys through and also i told that you have faith in yourself that that's because once surendra told me uh, we did not even know whether we will be able to achieve this or not i stopped him i said man uh, never tell this to yourself you have to first believe that you can do it and uh, that that positive energy i think helps me a lot and i try to pass on that positive energy self belief uh, is a key aspect when it comes to any sp- any endurance sport that whether it's climbing a mountain mount everest or anything as such uh, yeah. Uh, so yes pacing aspect i learned from the mistakes that i have done uh, and also uh, by running alongside uh, many senior runners i made sure that uh, these guys uh, suri and ash they don't repeat the same uh, mistake uh, whatever i have made in 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 my journey uh, towards a full marathon and then um, so there is a funny part over here so um i i kept on pushing them i kept on cheering them i was asking ash ash if you are doing strong uh, i was making sure that suri was not overpacing because at times he was uh, uh, overshooting a bit 
but um, uh, the Suri said like we will we uh, last five kilometer we will push. So that that I I kept asking him, man, what is the pace that you're targeting? You have to tell me that. So last five kilometer I accelerated, I pushed, and at that point of time I never I didn't even know uh, Shashi Garu and. Um, uh smita yeah. smita garu at that point of time so a car came in and they were doing my role they were pushing suri they were uh, they were just uh, they were riding their car just beside us so then i thought like okay let me go a bit more ahead and then cheer up these guys and eventually i finished a minute uh, before them in that process and got my pb but uh, this 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 would have never been possible um, I, i want to tell this to everyone a team effort and the kind of support that we got from the swamis it was like uh, for me it was like god was there on that day with us okay yeah, uh, that absolutely. that was the kind of support that we got from each one of them and it was a, a very nice uh, memory that we'll always uh, cherish throughout our life i'll exactly. just take up one question uh, milind you have uh, you have asked about our weekly mileage Uh, so each uh, surendra has followed a math training ash has done a mix and match of uh, both math and uh, speed workout so for me uh, after i have put on a bit of weight uh, i i i tried to shade off the weight first and uh, controlled my food and uh, wow. eating habit i also uh, tried to do 70 to 80 km of mileage per week and all of those were easy runs yeah i i, I don't follow a heart rate monitor as such i i just go with my feel and uh, that was uh, more of uh, our uh, training uh, perspective and i would like to also take another question from um, uh, kiran kiran has asked uh, the hand movement so uh, kiran uh, to answer your question this is what i believe everyone can counter uh, um, me so there is no perfect and accurate running form okay mm-hmm. i i um, my favorite opener in indian cricket team is virender shevak Uh, who people always used to uh, tell him that he doesn't have any technique and i have not seen gavaskar batting but i've seen virendra shevak batting and he was a gem okay because of him we we used to win uh, uh, test matches so there is no proper uh, form uh, i believe and if you have a, a form that you're comfortable uh, with and you're doing well with that form i personally believe there is no need to change make a change to it because even so what happens Yes. If if you try to make a change to that, you lose out a lot of things. Yeah, if you are doing a heel strike or if there is imbalance, those are some critical aspects that you can make a change. But uh, yeah, your shoulder is dropping down while running. That can lead to a back hit. Yeah, those changes are required. But hand movement and all that, whatever you are comfortable, even the breathing and all that. I think when your when your when your heart needs more oxygen, you cannot follow a breathing pattern. okay it's very irrelevant to say okay 1 2 2 2 and all that stuff it's it's quite bookish it doesn't happen practically so whatever works for you uh, kartik is the best way of following that that's what my uh, take on this I, okay. i i would ask surya and ash to add a bit more on this yeah, i know we are running short of time guys totally agree with you avik i mean yeah i'm with it Yeah. Yes, absolutely. If you see, like you, you know, uh, Kenyan, like you know, everyone have their own running style. The uh, uh, ladies, the females, they run like this one. The way you run, uh, Obi, your style is mostly like this one. So hey, I don't do this, man. Don't uh, don't make fun <laughs> of me. I don't do this. <laughs> But your hands are little closer, like you are little like uh, closer and punching kind of thing. So, <laughs> so, see, uh, so Ash, this is this is not fair, man. I don't do like this. What is this, man? so surender style is different my style is all different so it's actually depend upon how your body your running your legs everything you know uh, it um, uh, uh, fit together and makes uh, you to run so it, that is how you have to pick, pick up okay uh, it was amazing uh, guys uh, talking to each one of you and uh, getting to know so many things from you um, i would like to uh, invite uh, jia once again the youngest among all of us and uh, jia if you can come up once more and uh, help us to conclude on this thank you thank you everyone thank you Thank you so much for taking out time from your schedule and being here with us and sharing your inspiring story and your experience. Few takeaways from today's talk are: we learned how our runners ran the sub three and also learned how they managed to do it from their origins in running. They also shared their learning and experience of the entire event with us. 
we got to know quite a lot about how their training regime looks like as well as their diet successes and also told us what their lockdown fitness activities are on behalf of us all thanks once again to avik pal surendra parvada and ash acharya for these lovely inputs and to our audience thank you for spending time with us today we hope some of the tips shared today can inspire and help you achieve your personal best running time The recording of this event will be available on our Hyderabad Runners Facebook page as well as the AHM YouTube page. Please come back to watch again and share it on your social media profiles and to others who can benefit from it with hashtag Hyderabad Runners hashtag Beyond the Track. We will be back next Saturday at the same time with yet another expert and yet another interesting topic for you. Until then, this is Jia from Hyderabad Runners signing off. Stay safe and stay stay healthy. Bye.